David Erdos back with a new poem. Uh, this is from the Bastard's Charter sequence. It's about an obvious target. Sinking Sonella. Like a reverse shepherd she stands, dispelling flocks into darkness. For there is no light from Sonella as she seeks to wreak the same spell as unpretty Patel, whose monstrous heart made air ugly. And so Braverman casts dense reflection across the shallow but sin-streaked, poisoned well. These two women share the same race, and now we're all running, hot on the tail, not of migrants, but possibly reason itself. For to me, it is not about who has the right to whichever land endures trespass, nor is it about shelter and the sharing of earth to stop stealth. Instead, it is about decisions, dictates, and the ruination of standards. This is a current time without boundaries, starting perhaps with the war from which Berlin healed its long wound, a time in which Russia's Iron Curtain was lifted and which Vladimir Putin has ruffled across a carpet of blood as kids fall. And so the question extends, as it always does with the human. What are we to each other? And in the most basic sense, do we care? From the Christian concept to the Jews' house of meeting, from the brotherhoods within Islam and the sisterhood of all girls, how can these two women adopt the same bastardy in their bitching? And in what climate can any nation's flag be unfurled? This is an obvious piece. There is no sophistication at all to its message. Its lines are short, even standard, but beneath the brief there's a sea which has its own rules about who it grants passage. You are not Poseidon, Sinella, but are you a Canute? Each wave's free. Before the brink, England sinks when these empty hands begin pointing. With these directionless sails and Aunt Sally's heading the ship, Nemo flees. David Erdos, 10th of March, 2023.